Water baptism is a public confession that a person has been born again by the power of God. If a person has not accepted Jesus Christ and been supernaturally changed, made new inside, then a water baptism is senseless. Water baptism is the start of a new life, the burial of the old person that I used to be. And from that water proceeds a new man who does the will of God, who has no desire for the things of the world or for serving himself, but only for serving the kingdom of God. If we have not been changed inside and been born again, become children of God, who have a desire for the kingdom of God, then it is senseless to be baptized. Many people are baptized because they believe that they will have eternal life if they are baptized and if they confess that they believe in Jesus Christ. Jesus said that unless a man is born of the Spirit and of water, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. We have to be born of the Spirit of God, become a child of God, become new inside. And then water baptism is the outward demonstration of a new birth inside. If you have not had that experience with Jesus Christ, where He's made you new inside, where you've become a child of God with a desire for the kingdom of God, then it's senseless to be baptized. Paul wrote that the old things have passed away, everything has become new. If we have not been renewed with a passionate desire for Jesus Christ and His kingdom, to live for Him, to serve Him, to die for Him, to die to sin and to live for Jesus Christ, then our baptism is senseless. Many people go into the water a dry sinner and come out of the water a wet sinner and they just continue sinning because they are sinners. They have not been regenerated by the power of God. They have not been set free from the power of sin. They have not been born again. They have no desire for Jesus Christ. They just believe they have salvation. But new life has not begun in them. They are still dead in their sins. If we have not died to sin, to our own desires and to our old life of selfishness and not being born again by the Spirit of God so that we have a desire for that which is righteous and holy and pleasing to God to seek and to build His kingdom then baptism is senseless then new life is not begun we are still dead in our sins have you been born again by the power of God? And have you therefore publicly demonstrated through water baptism that you're a new man, you're born again of the Spirit of God and of water? You're a child of God. Or are you still dead in your sins? If you're not born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Has new life begun for you? Are you living a life that is pleasing to God? Are you in Christ, a new man? Or are you still dead in your sins? May Jesus bless you.